everyone to today's show and thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited about today's show because for so many women are told that breastfeeding twins is not possible. And we are here today to share a very special story with you and to show that breastfeeding twins is very, very possible using the Proctor Method. So wherever you guys are from, let us know and do get in touch below because we love hearing from you all. Now, this is the bit I'm excited about. You could probably hear the cuteness already. I'm very, very, very happy to introduce to you. It's my pleasure to introduce the very lovely Wendy. <laughs> With two very special guests here. So, Wendy, you know all about um, being told how impossible breastfeeding twins is. Um, oh, yeah. even the cry is cute. Five months successfully breastfeeding. A huge congratulations to you. I mean, tell us, how are you doing? Look at them. They look like they're doing right. I'm so sorry. No, please don't. I'm sure it's still okay. Yeah. Hi. Um, so, we... We are feeling amazing about our journey. I honestly, um, in the beginning, was very intimidated, obviously, for so many reasons, with nursing twins and what that looks like. Daddy to the rescue. Daddy to the rescue. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it, people do tell you all kinds of things, uh, especially when it comes to you know, how hard it is to nurse their singleton and how, you know, twins would just be impossible. And so um, we feel amazing about the fact that we kind of proved everybody wrong so far. Of course you do. And I, 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 I was saying to you before, I hope that you are incredibly proud of your journey. We do have a lot of twin mums in our community, but of course that does not take away from the fact that each journey is uniquely awesome in its own way. And I think you have, have done a very special job. And like I said, congratulations on five months. That's a huge, huge achievement. So you joined the Thompson Method program. You joined us um, during pregnancy, which is which is really amazing. Yeah. Um, what what made you look for breastfeeding education during pregnancy, and what made you decide on on jumping the gun and going with the amazing Thompson Method? Yeah. So um, I had heard, and honestly, um, I had joined a twin mom support group and had kind of put it out there. Um, not long after I had found out that I was pregnant with twins, um, I. I I've always known that I wanted to nurse my babies. Um, I, from my whole life, have had a lot of back problems um, from having larger breasts and um, was told by a doctor that I needed to have a reduction, you know, 20 years ago even. Um, but they had let me know then that if I did, there was a chance I would not be able to nurse, um, it, that it could, you know, it could depend. Um, and so I never went through with it because I always knew that when the day came that I did want to have, you know, a baby that I wanted to nurse. I wanted that for my baby so I never I never did it and um, I was more determined than ever that even though I'm having twins I'm gonna figure this out and I, I you know was kind of pulling some of the twin moms in my group um, you know what have you guys done I know this can be done and and quite honestly um, you know there wasn't a lot of feedback I feel like because of the stigma with twins like most twin moms just assume mm -hmm. formula mm -hmm. and you know so but i had one lady in the group that had told me about the thompson method and said that it had really been successful for her and so i thought okay i'm gonna check it out so i logged on and kind of read through and and i saw um you know just the different you know gentle methods and things like that which i was really impressed with mm -hmm. so that same night i um i paid for the program went in and just started binging like you would Netflix, but yeah. but <laughs> breastfeeding so videos. And so, I it's such a good way to look. It's, you watched everything with hubby as well, didn't you? Yes. Daddy sat yes, down and watched did. all the content with you, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what your first impressions were. Yeah, so I was so impressed with how baby led it is. And mm -hmm. it, you know, from my personal experience with other people that I've known, it's very kind of forceful like you have to force your baby to nurse and you know in your right after the baby is born and watching those videos of the baby instinctively knowing what to do and just crawling to the breast and uh knowing on their own which you know makes sense it's nature um but seeing it and and just having that kind of 
peace and comfort that, you know, it's not all on me. My babies do know what to do. Mm. And, um, you know, having that to begin with was, was huge. And then, you know, the, the rest and digest was another piece of it that I never would have thought of. Um, but it makes so much sense. And we've religiously stuck with that with our babies. Mm -hmm. And I think that's been another like complete game changer with how they nurse. And especially with twins, um, you know, it's, it's really important because you don't, you can't switch sides and all of that. You yeah. Know what I, mean? It's, it's, yeah but... I mean, this is something that I've always wondered, but that's why I find the Thompson method so amazing. Yeah. The key principles of the Thompson method also apply just as singletons, but also to multiples and twins as well. And of course, yeah. I should imagine it's a lot more fun, <laughs> but you said <laughs> just then it was game changing. Now I did not purchase the program during pregnancy and I suffered with a variety of complications really. Yeah. And um, gast gastro discomfort for my little boy was one of them. And, and the, ga the game changer oh. hugely was yes. rest and digest. So, and I've seen so many beautiful pictures of your twin babies resting and digesting together. Actually, now might be a good time. Let's let's share some some cute photos of your babies. Yeah. What, would you like to share babies' names today with everyone? Yes, this is Jasper, and then my Hi, little Jasper. girl is Grace. Jasper and Grace, beautiful names yes. so much. Beautiful babies. Let's have a look here. So, <laughs> here you are with Jasper and Grace. Um, for what I assume is the first picture ever taken and first cuddle with mum such such a precious time and how very beautiful that is and then here we have one of my favorites <laughs> it's just adorable was this done for valentine's day so so beautiful i mean how cute can that you was a production to get them to hold still <laughs> <laughs> oh i love it i love it so there there is um there is the proof in the pudding that you're doing such a such a very wonderful job so so tell me does it live up to what you always thought it would um and and have you found the resources and the support and the guidance available in the club for example have you found yeah. that useful in breastfeeding twins yeah absolutely so it, it it's been so much more than i ever even could have hoped uh you know people can explain a breastfeeding journey but until you've been there it's it's there's nothing like it. And with twins, you just get double the amount of, of, of accomplishment. Honestly, I feel like you just really, you get it. And um, as far as with twins, there's so much, I was shocked with how much information is actually available and support that's available to twin moms. Cause I thought, okay, I'll take the singleton journey and we'll tweak it for ourselves. But I didn't have to do that which was something that I really appreciated. And um, Pamela Armstrong, she um, she has helped me tremendously yeah, as let's, well. Let's shout uh, out to Pamela actually, because uh, yeah, you know, for those of she's you watching, amazing. This, this is a mum who has breastfed three sets of twins and she really three is sets of twins. A, a superhero in our community. So yes, hi Pamela, if you're watching, yeah. <laughs> sending love. She's my own personal hero, I will say that for sure. Uh, I, having one set of twins, I, I can't even imagine having three sets. Um, so, but she, you know, just the amount of information um, and reassurance, even that, you know, a twin journey looks very different and, um, but that, we're doing it right and that it was you know that things were going well and um and to keep going and i honestly originally had said okay if i can breastfeed my babies for three months yeah. you know that's good and we're almost at six we're you know a week and a half away from six months and uh i just feel like i really couldn't have done it without the confidence that i did gain from the thompson mm -hmm. method and just having that support, even the support of the other moms in the group, because as a twin mom, um, my friend Una, she's also another twin mom. I think Una's watching, actually. Hi, and, Una, if you're watching. <laughs> is she? Hi, Una. <laughs> and it's amazing because we post in the group our, you know, kind of our updates and stuff. And Una is amazing about it, too. And everybody just makes us feel like rock stars. Because, because you are. You know, we're... <laughs> 
we're feeding two babies. And so, you know, that confidence boost and like just the positivity and the positive environment has been a game changer yeah, I think, for us. I like, think everyone that is a part of our very special community will agree that um, that we feel protected and we feel cherished as a community because yeah. we are protected from conflicting advice, which is so common in other yes. support networks um, oh. today. And, and commonly yep. taught techniques um, can obviously be can be a bit overwhelming and it's nice to just have yeah. that one trusted evidence-based source of education and support from such a like you said yeah. a very caring very caring team of special ladies that 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 work behind the scenes on the club so so yeah I think that's I think you've hit the nail on the head it's a very perfect explanation um so what would you say as a twin mum is the favorite as is your favorite part of the program oh my gosh as a twin mum um have to pick one uh <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to there's just so one <laughs> anything positive um, I, I think my favorite part has has been um the baby led process and the um obviously the support but the the lack of trauma and the things that you know regular breastfeeding journeys a lot of the times have with them like we didn't have any of that we didn't have any no pain, no trauma, no nothing. And I think that's that's a huge part of it. Wow, that is that is huge. So for yeah. myself, I had a single term baby. Um, we're still breastfeeding now, so we're very grateful to the Thompson Method, but I cannot tell you how different our start was to breastfeeding. And I only wish I was as organized <laughs> and as sensible as you and had jumped, jumped on board during pregnancy. Um, I just, you know, I was naive and I thought that I'd figure it out on my own. And it's one of, it's still one of my biggest regrets. So, so what you're saying yeah. is that having that education and knowledge, and of course the support from, from your family behind you as well, yeah, um, watching the videos with hubby during pregnancy, it made you feel confident that you knew. And from the get go, you had that support in the club. So yeah. what, what would you think? I mean, it's obviously hindsight, but how, how do you think things would have gone maybe if you hadn't have joined? Well, so it would have gone very differently. It would have looked very differently because the journey at the hospital itself, and I was warned about how they are. And especially like uh, when, when there's any kind of complications whatsoever, I was prepared for what they were going to suggest and the kind of rough, rougher methods that people, nurses are, are trained to do. Um, and I was, you know, confident enough to stand up for myself and kind of had a little bit of an encounter with one nurse that was just not, she just didn't have the greatest demeanor and she was being very forceful. And uh, I think that was huge, uh, being able to have that understanding and knowledge ahead of time. Mm -hmm. to, it's definitely an to be able to there, change that. When, when you hear about this through um, the education, then you have to yes. see it firsthand. It's actually a huge eye opener, like I say. So, so you 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 believe that yeah. perhaps if that was your only source of education, that perhaps you would have had to follow mm -hmm. that guidance and 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 instead of having a team of women work with you and alongside you, as as Dr. Robin says, you were being told what to do right. and forcefully have these expectations. Yeah. So, yep. I remember you said to me a little bit um, when we spoke before. You said that. That when you were able to just be left alone and crack on, that's when you really, really started yeah. to see a difference. So tell us a little bit about that first breastfeed and and installing that for yeah. very special three golden hours. Yeah, so I did not get a full three golden hours. They actually did not let me have that because um, the babies were had to go into the warmer. Mm -hmm. um, but I did get to feed. Um, Jasper had to immediately go into the warmer. <laughs> We're, we're super happy. Um, Grace, I got about an hour to feed with, and she latched immediately. Um, and we had the most incredible, like, immediate bonds with, with that. And then I was able to feed Jasper. Um, it was about four hours later once they had gotten him warmed up. And same thing with him. He nursed so well. They did um, introduce a nipple shield for him because their little mouths were smaller with the preemies. So that was one thing that we kind of went through that was a little unavoidable that I wasn't able to kind of fight back on. But I guess in, in your position, you had all this knowledge at your fingertips to be able to make informed decisions surrounding those 
those choices yeah. that I guess you had. Obviously, you, like you said, babies were born a little bit early, 36 weeks, if I remember rightly. Yeah. So, yeah. and they were four pounds. Mm -hmm. So they were, they were quite small. And, and you chose yeah. what was right for you guys. And then I know from, from following your journey that you were able to overcome these very small bumps in the road. Um, yes. With just a little bit of reassurance, really, because us mums, we always know what we need to do. We just need to trust yeah. ourselves. And um, with with the right with the right video shared, I know that you're doing amazingly now. Yeah. So so sometimes unexpected things do happen, but the key, I think, mm -hmm. you'll agree, is is just have having preparation yeah. there to make those informed decisions, um, so that you're not caught with a bit of a deer in headlights, so so to speak. Right. Yeah, I can imagine how scary that would have been had I not had the knowledge ahead of time that absolutely. I had. And and that's what happened to me and a lot of the admin team, which is why we're so passionate about preparation yeah. during pregnancy because we often feel quite pr under pressure and of course we're vulnerable during pregnancy and after giving birth especially in those first few hours so I'm, yeah. I'm very grateful that you were able to um to navigate that 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 I'm sure vulnerable time for you and feel feel that you were confident yeah. and reassured by the team so Wendy as uh, I've absolutely loved your journey and I'm sure many many have loved watching you today what do you have to say to a twin mum that's watching that may be considering, maybe she's pregnant or breastfeeding, she may be considering joining you in, in the club and, and joining the breastfeeding program? Yeah. Um, the, the biggest thing that I would say is don't listen to what anybody tells you and, and, and just trust the knowledge, trust the information. The best thing I ever did was was joining the Thompson Method group and getting that information. Um, no... I can't tell twin moms enough how invaluable that help was and confidence. And it is completely possible to breastfeed twins no matter what anybody tells you. Um, you know, there's those of us that are living proof. And I have these two chunky little ones over here to, to show that <laughs> it's definitely possible. We came from four pounds and now we're tipping the scale. So... <laughs> They are beautiful. Don't give up. They look so happy and babies cry, don't they? I'm sure even the crying little <laughs> baby sounds people have heard are just, they're just too cute. It's cuteness overload <laughs> on this show today. So there you have it. There is Wendy's very special and very empowering, if I do say so, um, story. And it is absolutely possible if you're expecting twins for you to breastfeed. Do, do get in touch with us. Let us know if you have any concerns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the link down below for some other success stories, because we have such a wide um, twin mum community in the club. And Wendy's nodding her head because she knows that there is just so much positivity out there, you know, to be reassured through these very positive success stories. Um, hi, Nicole. Okay, we'll, we'll contact you afterwards, Nicole. Nicole's um, reaching out. So to everyone else watching, do keep commenting, get in touch, let us know where you're from. And congratulations to you all, whether you're pregnant, expecting, or breastfeeding from both Wendy and I, I'm sure. And Wendy, thank you so much to yes, yourself, thank you so to Hubby, much. and to Jasper and Gracie for joining us today. It's been yeah. so lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. See you soon.